We're on. Yo, guess what? Since it's a rainy day, I figured I wanted to do something, I wanted to put something together, but lately it's just been pouring rain. There's not much that I can do outdoors, so I figured, you know what, I haven't done one of these type of vlogs since I think the inception of my channel. Obviously by the title you know what I'm doing. If we go back, me customizing the Slater Design Surfboard got so many views. I think right now I'm close to like 21,000 views just off of that video alone. It received a good amount of feedback. I figured I did another board around the same time, but I lost all of that footage. But just recently I found the hard drive that it was on. So I figured why not just put it out there for you to enjoy. And then at the very end of this vlog, I'll just show you, I'll reveal to you the surfboard in all of its splendor. <laughs> this happened about a year ago. So what you're watching is like, obviously I don't have long hair in the video. You'll notice that. Um, I'll interject in through this video as I see fit. It's different than what you're used to, but I found that I got a great response from the surfboard customizations so I figured let me keep going with that and that's one thing that I did want to talk, touch base with you on but I'm gonna touch base with you on that in another video I don't want to sit here and draw it out any further because that's not what you're here for you're here to see the artwork of this board and hopefully you enjoy it if you do please leave me a thumbs up please comment below if you feel the need please Tap that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow, I'm trying to get this channel up. Um, and yeah, and tell me if you like these, cause I mean, I have a lot of other surfboards that I can customize if you wanna see some other cool type of ideas and uh, do it yourself type stuff. So anyway, I'll leave it there. And we're going to start off in my backyard working on the DHD Black Diamond surfboard. All right, hope you enjoy it. And hope you stick around to to the very end. And don't fast forward to the very end to see what the board looks like. That's cheating. Don't do that. I'll talk to you soon. All right. So this is where the goof off aerosol spray comes in handy because we can just hit this board. I got a fresh new terry cloth. This smells like spray paint. But this also helps get off all the excess wax and the buildup and the gunk. This is how we're gonna do it to give us a good start. So I'm gonna use this microfiber cloth. Oh yeah, you can actually, you can tell that the microfiber cloth is actually a better uh, move, picks up more especially a lot of the excess ad adhesive that has been left on the board. All right, so there's the DHD. Totally, well, 99.998% clean. DHD, black diamond. What are we going to make this into? 
what are we gonna do with it? I'm gonna make it look sick. Shoots. This is a fantastic board. This is uh, pretty much my go-to board. I love this board so much. Yeah, uh, not in a relationship with it or anything, but um, if it did ask me out, I probably would say yes. That's really cool. It's kind of weird. Um, all right, so basically what I want to do to it is customize it. Side of the stringer. This is what's going on with the board right now. If you're looking at it, it looks a lot different than when you first saw it. I took off the track pad on the back. We're going to put a brand new one on after I'm done cleaning it up and painting it up. I did put the green tape down. It's supposed to be better than uh, the painter's blue tape, so I tried that. The DHD because this is a DHD board. I actually trimmed it out with a razor blade right here. Be careful though, you don't want to uh, go too deep because then you'll end up cutting into the fiberglass. You don't want to do that. I did grip the side here as well. Back end. This is what I've been doing. I've been sitting in my room watching some YouTube and uh, just uh, getting this prepped and ready for the paint. Let's go outside. I got the board wrapped, if you can see it, right here. Um, I have it in this plastic uh, painter's drop cloth, but it's drop plastic, whatever. Anyway, it's sealed with duct tape. This is the back end. If you do it on the front, you can see that I have it sealed as well, so that no paint or any type of runoff from the water I'll be spraying will actually get over onto this side. Hopefully this green frog tape will withstand the water uh, for what I need it to do. All right, so this is where we're at right now. Um, we're gonna get ready to spray paint this bad boy and get this show on the road. All right, I'm gonna do a voiceover on this just in case you can't keep up with my uh, text that I have on the screen. So basically, you're just gonna shake the can well. I mean, that's evident. You're know you're gonna end up shaking the can all right um, use any colors you like um, use as many colors as you like honestly it's art there's no rules to this so um, whatever colors you think are appropriate for your board you do it that way um, I began with one color which was purple um, around the back foot area then I proceeded with the next color which was a sort of a darker blue and started going up uh, then I chose a lighter blue and began fading those two blues together pretty much I used the lighter blue towards the chest area or the front foot area um, I used the fading technique it's honestly not that hard just add a bit of overspray onto each end of the paint section so like use a little bit of blue around the purple and a little bit of purple around the blue sort of just fade it um, just quick bursts of paint to sort of just have it fade into the next color going back just touching up the end sections and just fading it but on this board here I used four different colors as my base and what you're seeing is me just basically just trying to fade the colors together This here, I'm blow drying it. Um, the sun is gonna bake the paint and make it dry faster, but I'm sort of in a rush, so I took a little mini blow dryer to try and dry the paint faster. The next thing you wanna do is get liquid dish soap. Dawn, Ajax, it doesn't matter what you use, and just squirt it all over the surfboard. You don't have to make it look you know, a specific way. Just go wild with it. Just spread it everywhere. Next, I'm taking the black gloss spray paint and I'm just going to spray over everything that I just painted. All the blues, the purple, I'm covering everything. But the cool thing is, is that the dish soap is actually acting as a barrier from the black paint. So only what wasn't touched by the soap 
is going to be on the board. So what you're seeing here is the black taking over parts of the board that don't have the Dawn soap. So the more Dawn soap you put or the more liquid soap you put, the better because then you'll start getting all the patterns from the, like, the foundational colors popping out. All right, next I took the blow dryer to it again after I spray painted the black paint. The next step is showering it down with the hose and getting all the soap off of the surfboard. So you definitely want the black paint and all the paint to be super dry. So the next thing would be to just hose it down and get off all the soap. And after that, you're pretty good. Oh, this is a quick reminder. Everything that you're seeing is lost footage. So I'm just working with what footage I have. But overall, I think that I made a fairly fluid video so you could see exactly what I did. Just know that I lost a lot of footage. I found some footage on a hard drive. Other than that, this is what I'm working with. So just bear with me. All right, back to it. Got the fabric, now I need to get uh, spray paint. We got everything taped up. On that, we're looking good. I'm gonna lay the lace down. I'll show you that in a few moments. And then we're gonna get started to paint. I just laid the lace over top of it. I didn't tape it down or anything like that. Just laid the lace down and we're gonna let this sucker rip. That's that. We're on. Yo, guess what? The sun is back. We're back, baby. So check this out. It is all done. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something from the video and you might want to go and try this. I'm sure there's a couple of other videos out there like this. Maybe a little bit more in depth. I don't know. I just know that I wanted to do it and that's the video that I captured and this is what I created. So the DHD is finally done. And there it is. Here, I'll pull it back. It's all finished. Looking clean. Now, I believe this is a Mick Fanning track pad. I'm not exactly sure. I forgot, but I believe it is the Mick Fanning track pad. One of the reasons why I chose this track pad, I like the cement type color to it, but I like the kick. I like that kick pad that's on it. It lets my foot sit right there. It's real nice. Um, there are track pads out there that are either flat or semi-flat. And I don't know, I just like to have my foot put up right there. So that's why I chose this. And then I chose the same color cement type uh, creatures. They're both creatures of leisure, by the way. Uh, the front deck cement color as well to match the back. So it just matches, right? But yeah, yo, I'm totally stoked with this board. I use this board a lot. Um, this is one of those boards where I have to wear a shirt because this track pad will rip up my chest. So I use this a lot in the winter time because I'm always in a wetsuit. Uh, I also use it in the summer, but if I do use it in the summer, I'm always wearing a shirt because the track pad, if you surf, you know, it, it rips your chest up really bad. But overall, I'm super stoked with the way it came out. 
you sort of got to customize things to make them your own. And that's the thing. You want to make it your own. You want to create something. Don't get me wrong. I liked this board when it was just all white. I really did. And I just decided I wanted to do something different. Just because I didn't want to have like a plain white board. So, yeah, man. Start working on things, creating things, make them your own, customize them. I liked how I did this lace thing. This actually came out pretty sweet. What I will say is this was a different type of um, video than what you're used to seeing from me and my channel. But this is sort of where I started off. When I started off with this channel, I didn't know where I was going to take it. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. <clears throat> but I made a how-to Slater Design surfboard and it's received a lot of traction. It's doing really well. So I figured let me try it again and see if people are still interested in watching like customized uh, do-it-yourself grommet type surfboard uh, paint job customization type things. So that's why I did it. For this whole thing, this whole board when I first bought it was only $350. It was, I bought it used, but $350 for this board. These boards are expensive. If you go on to DHD, or if you go to a website, or if you go to a surf shop, these boards are expensive. So I was really fortunate to find this board for as cheap as I did. It's been beat up pretty good. I've even had to get this fin box fixed at one point in time. That is the video. I'm gonna leave it here because I don't want this video to run on forever. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. And I'll pull it back. And I will talk to you again very soon. If you like this type of style of video, if you like me like customizing these types of things, let me know. I'll do more, you know? Uh, other than that, I gotta leave it here because, oh, I wanna start making another video for you. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.